Good morning YouTube, Chip Gilligan here and we are going fishing again. Last week we had a fantastic trip. We caught 35 big old white perch or crappie depending on where you're from. And now I'm gonna go in here and see what daddy's getting. We're at the donut shop and we always start our trips out with something to eat. So let's go in here and see what he's getting. Being a movie star, it is good. Okay, good morning sir. Oh, what would you like for breakfast? You know what I'd love to have for breakfast? Oh. Some nice soft scrambled eggs and a nice thick slice of tinned ham. Oh, so would I. Hey guys, we're back at the ramp, which is behind me. I want to give y'all one tip as far as making everybody happy around you. Check out these guys. They're in the parking lot getting their stuff together before they line up to go in the ramp. And I know we've all seen somebody unloading it jet ski or they're unloading a park barge and you're sitting there waiting so if you want to make everybody happy first thing in the morning go ahead and get all your stuff to before you line up to put it in the water now let's go fishing hey youtube we've made it to our spot so let me tell you what's going on we're in uh early october the water temperatures cooled down a couple weeks ago it was in the high 80s now it's in the 70s and what will happen as these crappie they'll move back into shallow water just like they did back in the spring so what we try to do is we use a small size head and i'm using a 16th and the reason being is because because these fish are in shallow water you don't want to flip to them and them actually hear it and they can actually hear this jig hitting the water so remember if you fish in shallow water go with the, small, the smallest jig that you can possibly go with and for this one this is a 16th and we'll actually go down to a 32nd sometime depending on the water depth. But let's get started. I'm trying to set the hook for the arm or go ahead. You got your thing on? Yeah I got it on. There you go you got it. That's right. You got it! That's a good one. Ooh, you yeah. got him. Oh, that's a fine one right there. Ooh, get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 13 inches right How'd you get your britches hung? <laughs> How'd you get your pants hung? There he is. Oh, that's a good one. And I got one hanging outside the boat. I'm just sitting here trying to adjust the dip binder. Let's try him again. Oh, there's one right on top of that log. There he comes. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. So I changed baits, and they seem like they like this one. Oops, I got him. I got him. Want to open that ice chest for me? started biting and uh, we use this app and I'm going to take a screenshot and show you the app and you're going to be able to see the period where they really started biting. Uh, that's a good one. You know one of the things about crappie fishing you can scare these fish really quick. Oh yeah, look at that. Good. Now the other thing you want to keep in mind also 
is we've got a strong north wind right now. We're facing right into it. So our boat is constantly just pop, 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 pop against the water. So that's really important that you stay away from the fish so they don't hear it as well. If you haven't already noticed, I want you to listen to my seat. This one gets a WD-40 this afternoon when I get my guarantee. If you mention manual labor once more, I'm going to order you off the property. Okay, I'm coming down. There he is. There they are coming ooh, up. Ooh, ooh. You got it. There, I got it. I got it. I got it. Good one. It'll make the cut. Hey guys, here in the state of Alabama, we've got a limit of 30 per person. And we have got to be getting really close, so we're about to head home. Anyway, remember, if you're fishing in shallow water, go with a light jig head. Don't get too close. Try not to take too much racket, and you'll catch some fish. Until next time, I'll see you on Wilkins Island.